Welcome back. I have a very interesting one for you guys today. We are comparing crystal puzzles. So this is the 3D Be Puzzled crystal puzzle that I did for you guys a while back. And then this is the Cheap Wish knockoff brand. So we are going to compare to see is this one better? Is this one better? Are they the same? Honestly, I don't know, but let's find out. Hey guys. All right. So today we are comparing another 3D crystal puzzle brand to the one that I have already done. So this brand here is the fairly common. This is Be Puzzled. Um, and I've seen these guys in Walmart before. I've seen them. Um, I got this online at Puzzle Master and they actually turned out, they exceeded my expectations. I've done a few of their flat puzzles from back in the day and they were kind of eh. But this, I, I didn't know what to expect going into it. I'd never done one like this before. It really, like, it was a challenge. Don't get me wrong. I had a hard time with this, but I'm also not good at 3D puzzles. Um, but it exceeded my expectations for a 3D puzzle. It goes together well. I mean, that being said, it's a little finicky, but for the most part, it goes together well. It stays together, and once you really get the ball rolling, you can really see what you're doing. And it, it holds up. Like, this thing... It, um, it has one of those things that you pop in it and it flowers out and all that so that it won't come apart once you're finished, which is really nice. I really like that. I was really happy with the quality of this one. I have here the same idea. It's going to be a 3D crystal puzzle like this. It's going to become a dolphin. As you guys can see, the pink dolphin on the white water thingy. Um, jumping out and making a wave, I guess. You know how it is. Um, this is the Wish brand. So, <laughs> I assume it's Chinese based on all the lettering and stuff on the packaging. We ordered this as an experiment to see basically where the Wish pickup was in our town, and we figured, hey, it would make a pretty cool video too. Um, so, my main question is, does the quality and experience of the cheap Wish brand hold up to the, like, do you get what you pay for here? Do you, does it hold up to the Bepuzzled brand? because I would be more than happy to pay the extra dollar for this so far. But hey, if you could save a couple bucks, if the quality is just as good, we are gonna find out. So, the first thing I'm noticing about the box, definitely, like it, you can tell it's from China, there's a lot of Chinese writing on it. Um, so, it's got like this one, two, three step thing along the side here. Um, let me use the close-up cam, I think is gonna be the best way, and they can see the box. All right, you guys, so this is the box. I wish I still had the Bepuzzled box to show you guys so you could see a comparison of that. But hey, this is what we got. Okay, so on the front here, you can see in the corner here, it's got like all this weird Chinese writing. It's the warning, not suitable for below 14. Um, do you <laughs> below 14? Below 14. And I guess they <laughs> think like a 12 year old's gonna be like, mm, yum, plastic. Um, it's got the dolphin, uh, 39 pieces, so it's probably right along the lines of difficulty of the Cheshire Cat here. Um, on this side, as you can see, we've got like these weird instruction things or warnings, I guess. Um, so this is telling me it's going to look like a love dolphin when it's completed. Carefully controlled. I don't know what that means. Sure. Um, puzzle are free to separate. Okay. <laughs> also, I guess they, they're using Google Translate. They are, yes. English is clearly not their first language. Um, please keep spare parts carefully to avoid lost. Spare parts? Okay. So there's spare parts to this, but they're not. Google Translate's <laughs> not their friend. On the back here, um, this is my instruction sheet. So um, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm not going to use this. This is already like, it's just, it's got the pieces and these weird lines. Um, I think it's meant to be helpful, but really I, I, it's not, it has the opposite effect. Like I'm confused. Okay. Um, it's got a little bit of writing here. Um, tiling method. Tiling cannot number themselves more difficult, more fun, more challenging after <laughs> more rewarding. <laughs> and yes, I did read that right. <laughs> um, each has its own number in accordance with the sequential serial number on the map parts can be easily completed tiling tiling. That, that made a little more sense than the first sentence. <laughs> Still no. Um, notices when assembling. Red 
redundant plastic on components may cause the assembling untight. Please cut them smooth with pincers. I'm supposed to cut this? Um, the redundant, so it doesn't, like, if, it's probably going to be, some of them are probably going to be, like, in a model where you have to kind of twist a piece to snap it out. So it'll be leftover little bits of okay. uh, plastic, I'm assuming. Oh, wow. Be careful not to be hurt by pincers and sharp parts of components. Dispose of unnecessary plastics. All right, okay, well, maybe I'll try and use the instructions, but like, sorry guys, it's a little hard to open box in my hand. So, that, that's it, that's the empty box. This is, uh, this is how it comes. It's not even pink. Nope, uh, that is, that's blue and off blue slash white. So, already, um, I mean, I, pr I will say I prefer the blue, I'm but, back. um, so I will say I prefer the blue, but, um, packaging, <laughs> that's a big one. If, uh, if you order this for a pink dolphin, you might get a blue dolphin. <laughs> I don't even think I ordered a dolphin, though. I don't think it was even a dolphin. No, you ordered a dolphin. You, yeah, yeah, no, no, you ordered a dolphin, um, so, oh, I see. So it's got two little squares on the side here, right by their warning. Um, it, so it tells you which one you're getting. This one's marked blue. There's oh, there blue or pink. Okay, so do you just not get a choice when you order, I guess? And you just, just get. You get what you get, I suppose. I mean, I guess. Cool. I mean, that's not that big a detriment. Okay, so the first thing I really noticed this had a thicker texture of plastic to it. The, it, it. These feel really cheap. Like, they're more lightweight. I, I don't know. Oh, I think I'm seeing the redundant plastic. Okay, so it's not like I have to snap off a connector or anything. It's like little flakes of extra plastic. All right. Okay. If I was to use these instructions. So... Um, no. <laughs> We're going to be here all night. Probably. Honestly. That, um, no. <laughs> I don't think the instructions, the instructions don't help me anyways. I mean, that's really no different than the puzzled one. I didn't use the instructions really with that either. They were a little more confusing than anything in my opinion, but... I have heard from some people that they did help them, so, I mean, hey, don't discount it. Don't discount it entirely. Oh, I think this is where this goes. This kind of pops into this thing, sort of. Like, it, it makes the fin. Okay, sure. I don't know if anything goes on top here, though. It's got the, I mean, it's, okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Okay, so that and that are the little things that hook it together, just like before. Um, what are these? This goes in one of the bodies. So does, this goes in the other body. This goes into something that looks like... Okay, well, this obviously goes with this some, somehow, some way. Like so? Yes, like so. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was really afraid I was going to break that there. Not going to lie. The plastic is so thin when it snapped. I'm like, <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, that's a flowery like piece. It's a flowery like piece. This might be a flower. Ooh, geez. Throwing them away. I mean, the fact that it's color-coded, like, that's a bit of a point in its favor. That That's a little bit easier than the Cheshire Cat. Oh, it won't. Like, it goes here, but it's not snapping in. Oh, there we go. It is cracking. It's cracking a little bit in the plastic. Like, in the pieces that... Wow. Okay. <laughs> so that's not great. 
Okay, that goes here. I'm... Yeah, it just cracked. Jesus. Like, and I'm not forcing it. Like, they're going where they're supposed to go, but... Mm. You have to put a little bit of pressure on it, and that... It doesn't necessarily like that. Okay, so the white pieces are the flowery bits. Now, okay, that'll go there. That, that lines up with what I've got going on. That one went in a little nicer. I didn't have to necessarily almost pretty much darn near break it. Oh, I see. Okay, so this has to go in before this. Now, am I going to be able to get this out like I was able to with a Cheshire Cat? Cool. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. This is where it breaks. Right? Well, I'm really afraid it is going to break. Like, you can feel the flimsiness of the plastic pieces. The little plastic bits. Okay. There's that. This is the piece that I had before. Maybe they have to go in kind of at the same time, almost? Or... This goes into this little area like so. And then that goes in that, and that goes in that. I'm going to okay. zoom in on you a little bit more. Okay. The overhead, it just won't... It won't it. capture what's going on here now. If I zoom in... piece I think would go in next and nicely yeah okay there's like that this goes here yes that lines up with the the water goes like that. This went in here somehow. Oh yes, like this. Like that. Okay, so the water's almost made. There really have been like... Oh, okay, so now it's clicked in there. There have been many times when I thought I was going to break it. Okay, there's that piece. And now following with the pattern. So I'm literally just going by the ripple patterns of its watery base type thing. Whatever y'all want to call this. Okay, so does this thing go underneath? So maybe this goes first. And then this goes in. Yes, okay. We're getting somewhere. And then this little dewy 
goes on top here. Yeah, I would have to. Yeah, okay. All right, so we've got like a ripply wave. You know, there's a few stress marks in it from where I put it together. Thankfully, it's harder to tell once you get the pieces pretty much assembled. I guess I'll, I'll show them what I got so far. So it's very much like the Cheshire Cat. You can see the layers that it's got. Thankfully, it's harder to tell in the places where it cracked a little bit be just due to the um, not fantastic quality of the of the plastic. But hey, like it's, I would say it's easier. It's definitely easier. Like the color coding really helps. And the fact that I know it has to go a certain way, like that's easier than the Cheshire Cat. So, I mean, I guess there's that going for it if you're looking for something easy to dip your toe in with. That, that'll go down in there like so somehow but there has to be a like these little things will form a bit of a base somehow for the little dolphin okay so break this that's crap jeez that's a big crack inside of it Oh, okay, and then there's that. So, and then the rod. I don't know if I should necessarily do that now or wait until I know how the dolphin attaches, maybe? Because the rod will go down and then that'll be locked in. So that part's done. You know, I only cracked it in a few places. Well, you don't spend a lot of money on these things. <laughs> Holy crap. Okay, so it's got this broken down into like the tail and the body somehow. So maybe it's like the butt end and the front end. Okay, so there's that. And then if I was to try to follow this weird, weird, weird map, this goes. I really think it has to go this way. Or not, because it doesn't fit. <laughs> we'll come back to that, I suppose. And then I need, like, a thing, I need this piece. It's helping to narrow down the pieces, I guess. Like, that part's kind of nice. This piece, this piece, this piece, this piece, somehow I'll connect. this piece or is this how the tail connects well that doesn't make much sense that would be weird oh wait okay oh okay so that 
forms a bit of a body like that. So if I oh okay. So there's a Ah, okay, okay, that goes like that. This goes on that. This goes down here, maybe somewhere, maybe, possibly. Go there that much, I know. This looks like this has to be part of the back half of the body. I just dropped a piece, that's great. If you're going with the curvature of the body. Oh, this works right here. That that works to form like this weird cube thing that I think is important. Uh oh. And then if I just place that like that, like this has to like go somewhere around here because like. Does it just make one half of a dolphin and another half of the dolphin and the two halves click together? Mm -hmm. Your guess is as good as mine. into that thing and it works with the curvature of the body and that works and then this would be this half in theory So it's fin. I should maybe have not started with the base because apparently that was like my easy peasy lemon squeezy part and that made me feel really good about where I was sitting but now I've kind of stagnated. Because like the last crystal puzzle I did, that the, the Cheshire Cat took some time. Like that was a challenge. I will not lie. Half like that? Does it? Or am I just making things up because I want it to work? Okay. Maybe I focus on. somewhere. I got three pieces. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. I know where this goes. This has to go. in here somehow like this because like that looks the same 
What the heck? Okay, but in any case, that definitely goes like that. What didn't I have? I had these two pieces snapped together. Like this once upon a time. Ah, ah, ah. Does this go into this? Yes, yes, yes. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Okay. And then this snaps into that. And this goes into this. Again, somehow, some way. Okay, that snaps like that. I feel like I'm missing a piece and it's insides, but hey, you know. <laughs> no, okay, so maybe this thing snaps in to here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Here we go. We got a dolphin going on. It's coming together, I think, faster than the Cheshire Cat it did. Is. Maybe because I have a better idea what I'm doing now, or maybe it really is the fact that like half of it was broken up by color. Okay, so like this totally has to go. Oh, crap. <laughs> I think the cat was more layers, though. It was. This is like the I know. The challenge with this one is getting the right piece in at the right time, so that what just happened doesn't happen. That you don't miss half the pieces that you need. Which, if I understood their instructions a little bit better, that would also be helpful. Just use Google Translate. Mm. <laughs> that worked out well for them. That and then somehow this inside piece has to go back on. Okay, yes. And then this goes more underneath. Okay, yes, but I still feel like there's a piece that the bottom there. needs to go in the middle here. So I maybe pop part of this off and keep that to the side. There's something that's got to go in here that's maybe this piece. I wrecked the place. Then this piece. But then this piece doesn't want to go in anymore. This is its hole. Oh, there we go. Okay, then that piece. And then I need this piece to make that part of the tail complete. And then I need some kind of body piece to like finish off this part. Okay, yes, that would make sense. So then I also need This must be like the front of the dolphin here. Yep, okay. And then this is its back half, I think? Yep. Okay. So then same idea, this has got to be the front <laughs> half of the dolphin or a piece used to take your eye out if you prefer. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and that piece, and then this piece. Okay, and then that 
thing, I believe, is right, because that makes that smooth. Um, but where do the rest of its parts go? <laughs> sticking with this whole side pieces thingy then this needs to snap in somehow okay all right that was good I was really afraid I was gonna break that but hey <laughs> you know you only live once sure okay all right that's part of the tail somehow in some really weird way oh and this is its face Okay, that makes sense. Hey, look, it's a dolphin! <laughs> that was actually pretty easy. Um, You're not done yet. <laughs> the uh, precise exact science of how this tail goes on might elude me. Oh, well. This goes in here, I think. And then why? What's with this weird piece? This weird piece go must go in here somehow, and this goes inside here, yes. This slides, that slides in better in that way. goes like that and holds that in. And then this goes back on its side. Oh, and we're missing a front piece again, right? Silly me. It's not a full dolphin yet. <laughs> that goes like that. It's very precise. to the feeling of <laughs> it's not the whole thing yeah. right and then that goes in like so but where's its stick go oh up here maybe okay mm. and again maybe not oh yeah it does go it's supposed to go up and into the middle of the dolphin, though, according to the picture. Okay. <laughs> Screw it, maybe? It's got these weird screwy bits, and then... Then would I force it in? How does the other piece go? What do you mean? That other rod. Ah, uh, that has to go in here like I thought, but... Oh, okay, that one's going in nicely, more or less. This one doesn't want to move anymore once it's at a certain point. Dolphins together, right? Well, that's weird. I wonder if it... Then does it 
have a slot for this. That can't be what that's for. That's an Audi. I don't see it. But even if I... There's nowhere really to engage. Come look, I'm not crazy. No, no. So there's you the are crazy. there's the pokey hole for that thing, assuming that it would go in properly. Oh. So the whole thing has to be in the dolphin, and then the dolphin okay. screws onto the top. Right. Well, so that goes in the dolphin about that well. The other one just kind of slid in there, like it only needed a little bit of force. Oh, it's um, okay, it's a key. I think it goes like straight up and down, and then it twists. So it's hard to get it. Well, that's silly. Oh, wait, how does that? Where's the? Where's the what? This thing, right? Like, how does it possibly slide on there? There's no, like, and I was looking along the middle of the body of the dolphin that maybe there's a little ridge where that outie goes, but. <laughs> oh, that goes all the way in. Yep. And the dolphin would. But to what? You see? You see? When you, um, where's my best? <laughs> hmm. Because it shows the dolphin all the way in itself, like it's got a little window. Yeah, like it looks like piece. it looks like this little piece almost has to go more into the center of the dolphin. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. Like I think, like it's like I think that this goes in before some of this does. I think I think it holds part of it in before. Let's try it. like that and then you've got the body going like that I think the only thing I can think is that it maybe goes in here Yeah, it's supposed to come on frames. Uh, and that's why they're saying to snap it off. You have to snap it off and cut the little edges off. It's supposed to come on four sheets. Mm. Fish body one, fish body two, base one, base two. Newsflash, friends, it did not. back on but then that doesn't want to snap in because the thing is in there it looks it looks like the tip of the it almost looks like the whole pin is supposed to be in the dolphin all the way up to the top fin That's what it looks like like it looks like it goes up and in, right? Yeah. There's a slider thing that goes through it like this, like the opposite way. It kind of fits. And I, I mean kind of. 
so we're back to the question of how the heck does this go on to here? Oh. It goes on by... Like there's two little... It almost looks like that. It almost looks like that pin is supposed to come down from the dolphin. There's it's no like way. it's like you know that pin where you're trying to stop shove it up the dolphin. Yeah. It's that pin starts up on the dolphin. All right, I'll take the this part out if I can at this point. And then you just turn the whole dolphin on the water. Shoot. So this has to go. Side from this is a mm, mm, no. I, I think I liked the cat better because the pins went in once it was complete. So this has to now come out. Oh my god. <laughs> I, no, I, I'm looking for something to like get a grip, better grip on. <laughs> yeah, it won't go any further. Further, because this this is thicker than the. But if screw. that's true, that's the only hole that can go in. Now, is the height of the dolphin? That thick is it? Is this can this go up into the dolphin, and this be the only piece that sticks out? No, because that has to go into the wave to hold it in. Oh, I can't even go this way. No. Like it has to go. That little hole, pretty much stops there, and then it's blocked off on the dolphin. But if that has to go inside the dolphin first to hold it there, because there's two little dots on the dolphin, but I can see where the pin would make it snap in. <laughs> You've given up on it too? Well, no, I'm just trying to look at this. Like, it looks like it's inside of it. But again, <laughs> and the translate is not good. When tilting to the axis of each set of parts, and save the good parts of each piece. <laughs> this is the complete tilting completed dolphin. Can provide reference. But it almost looks like the little thing is completely inside, like it's holding the top dorsal fin. Based on that picture. Right, and it goes in the other way. Alright, you guys, so not only are the directions wrong, I, I can't get this in. And let, like, I don't think you, can, you can't even get it in, can you? It's got to go in that little hole, but I mean, we'll have a mostly complete dolphin. I mean, it's not, it's not much thicker. Oh, it's not thicker than... 
But so the instructions. Wait, which am I, does this have to be at the top? Like, um, which way does that have to go? I think that has to go. Uh, that has to go into the dolphin. So it's got to go. The the flat side has to go into the dolphin, well, like so. Yeah. So the instructions are showing that this little pin here should go up and into the dolphin this way, when in fact it actually goes into the dolphin this way. So that makes things a little interesting. And it was supposed to come not in a random bag, but in little sheets. So you'd know which would make sense. That'd be why the box is the size that it is. Uh, you know, I, I'm sitting at like, hey, it was easy. It was kind of fun. Quality though, like half the piece is cracked. Thankfully, with the style, you can't tell. Um, and we can't get the last half of it in, so I'm sitting at like a 4 out of 10 right now, honestly, for how I feel about this. I was trying to shave out the... To make it thinner or something? Or to make the hole fatter? <laughs> I mean, the threaded part isn't isn't really any wider than. It just won't go any further once you get through the threaded part. Oh, that was not looking good now. <laughs> if even Casey's having a hard time with it, holy crap! Because like, then that'll sit kind of like so on here and it's got two little dots that it can rest in but it's meant to have the pole go zoop. it is definitely cheap plastic because I'm afraid I'm gonna snap if I try right? too hard right like you it feels like you need to use force but you can't like what what level of force is too much force whereas this almost felt like this was harder plastic you can feel the difference even in weight holding on to these things. Well, at this point... I'm ready to just say screw the pole and it can just rest on there, really. I think, I think that's what we're going like, to do. Like, I think, I think that's going to have to be... the. I, can't I, I, just, I just don't think it's physically possible without breaking it. Um, I need the pliers now. Oh, crap, really? What's that? It's on there, that tight. Wow. Oh my god, you guys. Wow. Like I, I knew this was gonna be cheap. I did. And I didn't I didn't really have too high of expectations for it. Like I was kinda hoping once it was together. I mean and it I have had some fun. I'm a little disappointed it doesn't go together. I, a the way it describes, B the instructions are not good, and C I can't truly complete it. And we had to use pliers to get the piece out. Slash try to um, quick and dirty at home sort of fix to make the hole bigger for the pole. And I'm sure when Kirsty watches this video, she's going to get a good laugh about me talking about holes and poles. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> did we learn how to build a dolphin today or did we learn something else? Alright. And the other thing about the Cheshire Cat, the little pole that went inside to hold it together held it up well. This just feels like once I screw it in there, it's more or less just sitting, Not, it's just chilling out. It's not really actually doing anything super functional. It is, oh, I just broke the head. <sighs> so there's a uh, there's pole inside the dolphin now. It's never coming out because it's, uh, it's broken. <laughs> you know, that's cool. Okay, all right. This fine, it was holding the other fine before. I don't know why it needed the little stick, but hey, now it doesn't have the little stick. All right, so don't ever take it apart. That's bad. Oh, now that doesn't want to snap on there quite as well. Maybe I need to get the fin in for it to, oh, yep, there we go. Okay, so the fin will hold that in place. Um, gentle, because uh, I have one pole that won't go in and one pole that's half on the floor. And two wee little, because there's two wee little dots, but it's by no means secure. Hey! <laughs> if it was sitting on a shelf, it would but be fine. It would be fine, yeah, or that way. A little bit of crazy glue on it just to hold yeah, it. Yeah, just to glue it on there. You would have to, like, 
use your own arts and crafts to get it to actually stick on there. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> but hey, I might actually put this down, you guys, and let you see it with the close-up cam, because that's... Oh, I can't get that back on there. There we go, okay. Actually, the weight of the front end of the dolphin, you can almost see it wants to pull it down. Hmm. All right, we have two... I don't know, I think you can tell the difference in the quality just like side by side the plastic of it. All right, we'll do like so. So here is the completed dolphin. There's the Cheshire cat. I don't know guys. And I liked how like the Cheshire cat's connecting points, there was one that went down through the body and then there was one that went right through his face to keep that on there. With this, the instructions had it looking like the, we'll have to use our imaginations here because the other one's broken and inside the dolphin, but that little blue pin that I was trying to stick into the dolphin per the instructions should go up through it like that, when in fact it actually goes in it horizontally um, and then broke. This little pole was supposed to go through the dolphin and into, into here and then that would hold it on, but where it's got these little grooves, we can get it past those, but not through the clear parts. So, there's that, you know. I mean, it was quick, it was fun, it was cheap. It's definitely like, if you're looking to give it a try, but like, the plastic did crack on a lot of the pieces, particularly in the base, which thankfully, again, it's clear, it's really hard to tell, but yeah. Uh, it's my review stands. <laughs> it gets a generous 4 out of 10. <laughs> and that's because I had fun building it and it was easy, minus the fact that pieces got broken. <laughs> and not even because I was being mean to it. This is just <laughs> cheap, crappy plastic. Wow, okay. Well, you know, I wouldn't buy it again, but like it was good to experiment with. Um, so... <clears throat> You, you're getting what you pay for, you really are. These are a little bit more expensive, but the quality is there, and it's going to hold up better once it's complete. The instructions are also going to be true instructions and not the wrong way, you know. Yay! Um, but yeah, I'm really grateful no pieces were missing, especially because it just came in a little baggie, not as it was supposed to on the sheets. Um, and again, I guess you're getting a surprise if you order blue or pink. I don't know if their other items would be like that as well. I would assume so based on this, but also I haven't ordered them and I'm not going to after this. Long story short, you get what you pay for. If I was to give you a recommendation, check out the bepuzzled ones. I'll leave a few of the affiliate links for like maybe the Cheshire Cat and some of the other ones that I think are pretty cool, but hey, check out their whole collection because honestly they have something for pretty much everybody. Um, if you wish, check out Wish for like di dipping your toe in. Um, you know, you don't expect it to be fancy, but if you also don't have a lot of money on hand and you want to give this a try, eh, it's okay for that. All right, you guys, thank you for watching, and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.